learn how to add a pouch to your planner quickly and easily, then stay tuned. <coughs> My carpe diem box didn't come, so I have no shiny new pretty products to show you, but I do have a quick little tutorial that you can do in a few minutes to have a pouch in your planner. So it's just elastic attached to the back of your planner or the front or wherever you want it. You can change it from planner to planner so you can take all your fun stuff with you. Okay, let's get started. All you need is a pencil case, some elastic, you know, that they use for making clothes, about the same length as the pencil case. Some strong glue. I actually don't think this one is strong enough, but since I'm doing this last minute, it's the glue that I had on hand. I'm just going to show you and then I'm going to, I'm actually going to sew it. So in a minute, I'll show you how to sew it. Some scissors to cut this and then two strong um, clips. So all you need to do really, it's super simple, is you're going to glue, put a little glue. I'm actually not, I'm just miming. Put a little glue on your pencil case, put your elastic there, and then you're going to clip it until it dries. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Pretend glue. And then a clip. And then once that's dry, you're all set and you can put that in your planner. Okay, for the sewing version, I need a pencil case, elastic, of course, and some needle, a needle and thread. Now, I tried this before and it looked really messy. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to start on the inside. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two X's. Just to make it look neat because since the fabric is so thick, it's really hard to make a pretty whip stitch across. Now that may hold on its own, but I don't know for how long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the X's again to make them a little bit stronger. So I'm going to do each X one more time. I just happened to have the contrasting color. My daughter was using it. It was the exact same color. And I said, why not? Looks cute. There, now that's the X is done over twice. You can go over a third time if you don't think that it's strong enough, but for me, I think that's gonna hold nice. So I'm just going to tie off the ends and then I'll do the other side. Okay, so it's all finished. It's holding on pretty tight. So now let's put it in a planner. Let's put it in this one first. You can just simply slide it on. And then you can put your scissors, extra washi, your pens and pencils and anything you want to carry with you in, in the pouch and you're good to go. And if you want to change planners, you don't have to dump everything out and put it in a new pouch. You can transfer it to another planner just as easily. There you go. Super simple, super fun. One last little thing I want to show you, and this is for whether you're sewing it or gluing it. What I'd like you to do is to take a little bit of any kind of liquid glue. It doesn't have, this one doesn't have to be strong. And what I want you to do is to put a thin little layer on the ends, both ends. And once this dries, this will keep the elastic from fraying, because that's not pretty. And that glue will keep it from fraying and keep your pouch pretty longer. Monday's video is coming up for you. It's all about goal setting, so watch out for that. Next week, I will show you my new product. I'm sure I'm sure my boss will be here by then because it's it's at the post office. It says it's at the post office. It's just been really slow getting here. I'm sorry. I'm really disappointed as well. <gasps> oh, happy day! My box came. So I had this video edited and all ready to go and then my box came. So I wanted to film this and just sort of add it in where I could. So I know I said that my box didn't come and of course this is afterwards. So that's why this video is a little bit awkward and I'm um, adding this in because I'm so excited. I hope you love it as much as I do. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. These planners are fantastic. Okay, I don't have enough time to do a complete video and edit it and everything before I go to Scotland tomorrow, but I'm going to show you quickly the planner stuff and then I will do more videos next week. So I'm going to do a video reviewing these spiral bound planners. Right now I'm going to show them to you quickly. So this is the Live Simply 17 month weekly planner. So it's got two pages of stickers, it's monthly spreads, and then weekly spreads. And it's just so pretty. Like look at the 
floral. So nice, so nice. And then this one is the Oh Happy Day stickers. It's really fun and upbeat and really fun. This is a budget planner. I'm excited about this because I am terrible with money. Yeah. So I think mm, this one might be the first one that I set up. I love the contrast here of the polka dots and the stripes. It's just super, super fun. And then this one is a home planner, which I do have like a made binder one ages ago, but I might transfer everything into this one. Look at this. I think this is my favorite combination of anything in this box. Like, can you tell that I'm a little bit excited? The pockets are quite big, so you can put lots of stuff in there as well. But I will do a review of these next week once I'm home or home on Tuesday, I think. So probably next week, next Friday, maybe. Also, there's some washi. This one isn't new, the Oh Happy Day, but this is from the Heart Collection from Simple Stories. And this one is the cruising. So cute, so cute. There are some new mini monthly calendar stickers and these ones go from July to December 2020. And then, uh, oh, new sticker books, so exciting. So the Oh Happy Day, these are the ones that we're using in Edinburgh. I'll review, I'll do a video just on these, I think, they're so fun. These match the planners. There's the Oh Happy Day, there's the Live Simply, and then there's the budget one. They already had a home sticker one, so I will do a review of these three plus that one as well. Okay, now I'll let you get back to the rest of the video. It better come tomorrow because it also has product for my class on Saturday. Speaking of my Crafternoon Tea, if you wanna follow along, I will be sharing stuff on my Instagram stories. So I'm Kara Vincent's over on Instagram, so go follow me and you can check out my stories and all all the fun happenings that we will be having in my craft room tea in Edinburgh. And, and if everything goes well, I may even do an Instagram live from the craft room tea. So make sure that you are following me on Instagram so you can follow along our little adventure in Edinburgh. In the meantime, here is another tutorial that you can go watch. You can subscribe to me here by clicking on my little face or there are two more videos here that you might like. Have a fantastic day and happy planning. And then one such, and then one such, and then one such, why can't I say one such dry? Ah! <sighs>